Hi guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC and today I'll be going through the Kia EV5 and giving you a good understanding of everything you need to know about how to charge this car. We're going to look at the battery sizes, we're going to look at the range and the charging speed for both AC and DC. So let's get into it. So the Kia EV5 comes in three variants. It has the Air, the Earth and it's top of the line GT line. Uh, which Kia is obviously famous for. So let's look at the Air. So the Air is characterized by being two-wheel drive and it has a standard range as well as a long range. So the standard range comes with a 64.2 kilowatt hour battery and that means a 400 kilometer range there. In terms of its AC charging speed, it's seven kilowatts single phase. So you're looking at about nine hours and 40 minutes from uh, zero to full there. And in terms of if you use a big 350 kilowatt DC charger, uh, it's 10% to 80% charge there is about 36 minutes. Now they also make a long range in the air and I really like this long range because it's got an 88.1 kilowatt hour battery and that gives you a whopping 555 kilometers of range. That's a one stopper if you go on Sydney, Melbourne, if you go on Sydney, Brisbane, or if you're going even further. I really, really like ranges like that. That's confidence. In terms of its AC charging speed, this one is faster at 11 kilowatt hours. So what that means is it's a, uh, essentially eight hours and 10 minutes to fully charge on an AC charger. And if you use a 350 kilowatt DC charger, that's 38 minutes to go from 10% to 80%. When we move up in the uh, variance to the earth, this comes in an all wheel drive version. Okay, and it also has the long range battery, which is the 88.1 kilowatt hour. And that gives you a range of 500 kilometers. Again, the AC charging speed is 11 kilowatts three phase, so it's about eight hours and 10 minutes using a home charger that's three phase or a public AC charger. And if you use those big 350 kilowatt DC chargers, again, 10% to 80% is gonna be 38 minutes. And then the final variant is the GT line, which again is also all wheel drive and comes with that big, beautiful 88.1 kilowatt hour battery. And that gives you a range of 470 kilometers. From an AC charging speed, it's also 11 kilowatts. And from a DC charger, 350 kilowatts, 10% to 80% is also 38 minutes. That's a really quick review of the range. So let's get in here and see what you get with a vehicle, how to charge it, and some cool features about this car. So Kia has been very generous and actually supplied a portable charger with their EVs. And you get that on all the EV5 models. On the Earth, as well as the GT line, you also get the V2L adapter, which you can plug in and use to power other appliances. So that's a cool little feature. If you don't have those models, you can purchase that as an accessory. Now these portable chargers are really um, designed just to plug into household outlets and preferably are used in emergencies. They're a slow charger. These are about 1.8 kilowatts and you're dealing with batteries that are 64 kilowatts or 88 kilowatts. And that's potentially 44, 45 hours from zero to full. So, if you're doing any meaningful driving, if you're driving long distances, this is not a product we recommend. What we say is give the team a call, let's install a home charger for you, let's get you um, a charger at your workplace that you can actually use so that you can actually charge quickly. Highly, highly recommend it. If you can put a charger in at home with a vehicle like this, absolutely do it. You'll have a better EV experience. Now, the other thing is if you don't have a charger at home or don't have access to it, what you need to understand is, well, how can I use DC chargers? What public chargers are available to me and what other accessories? Now, what we also recommend to a lot of people is if you're using public chargers, so a lot of shopping centers have those smaller AC chargers, we definitely recommend that you purchase a type two to type two EV cable. And that will allow you to plug into those public chargers and charge this and give you more options to charge. When you own an EV, it's different to petrol. Um, you often charge where you park and you really want to have that mindset. You want to have the right equipment in the car um, that can um, travel with the car whenever you need it. So let's look at the port now and see exactly how it all works. So to open the port, you just press this top button, really nice and easy. If you ever want to close it, there's a little button here that allows you to close it. So that's pretty cool. Keeps it nice and automatic. If you open this port up, this is the CCS2 port. That is fantastic. That means that it's on the latest plug standard. This is an EV that's gonna age incredibly well. It's got great range, it looks great. And unlike some of those first generation EVs, this is gonna be something that people are gonna actually wanna buy as a secondhand car in the future. So you're gonna have better resale values. The top section here 
is what we call the AC section. So it's just this standard plug that you see here with the portable charger on those smaller AC chargers. When you use big public DC infrastructure, the, the chargers that look like petrol stations, that's where this bottom section comes in. And you then plug in the CCS2 plug here and it'll plug in both the top and bottom port. And that's how you get those ultra fast charging speeds as we described a little earlier. So there you have it guys, everything you need to know about charging the various EV5 models. We are super impressed with this EV. It's a great family car, it's a people mover, and it's been a, a kind of car that we've really lacked in Australia. For a long time, you've only had the Tesla Model Y, and, and this feels like a better car. It's got fantastic range. What, what Key is actually kind of advertising, I've actually seen these cars being driven further. And that's really uh, a testament to the battery technology that the Koreans are producing. Um, so if you ever need anything from EV charging accessories, advice, or someone to provide installation services, please reach out to the team at EVSE. Bye for now.